hi as we talk about pc gaming i think most neglected components would be the power supplies as these one are not wearing eye catching but it's one of the most important components in pc hardware and today i will be talking about the thermal tech smart tps g750 gold power supply but before going into the specifications we need to know about what these figures mean and which supply with power supply what rating uh, we should buy so we'll be looking at features and specs if i look at any box of power supply or view a specification box in a website we will come across many numbers and certification which many of us are not knowing about so i will be talking about most important specs which are important to buy a power supply and will then relate these numbers and figures to conclude what kind of power supply we should buy first and most important thing is the voltage of the power supply now if you are looking at a power supply you should look for both continuous power supply rating and the peak power rating and if you get only the peak power rating don't consider buying it uh, as the peak power rating doesn't give you the exact picture as uh, a peak power rating can be of a, a few seconds to a split second so you don't know what your power supply will be giving as a voltage for a continuous duration so and in a thermal take power supply i got the both continuous and peak power voltages the continuous voltage is 750 and the peak voltage is 900 which means the maximum output of psu you can uh, you can have is 750 and which is like 100% but actually in the reality it draws more power than it supplies peak voltage is 900 watt which means it can go up to 900 watt for very short duration of time before it will trip on overload which is a inbuilt protection for the pc hardware the next is the certification of this power supply 80 plus certification and also the variants of these like bronze silver gold and platinum variants so what these 80 plus and these variants means the 80 plus means that the psc will give you 80% and above efficiencies at 2015 and 100% loads that means more efficient power as nowadays it's easy to make 80 plus power supplies in order to differentiate between the product's quality the bronze silver gold and platinum labels were introduced the platinum ones are almost 90 plus power supplies and gives more than 90% efficiency at 2015 100% loads below 20% load this certification does not apply so it tells us a very important thing about the psus that whenever you buy a psu look at your idle load power draw value and that load should be more than 20% of the maximum output load of the power supply like if you are using a mid range gaming pc and you decide to use a pricey 1200 watt 80 plus gold psu and your idle power draw is below 240 watts then you are actually drawing more power and the psc is not working at its maximum efficiency so you should always calculate this idle power draw of your pc beforehand you can add a little buffer to it like 240 plus 50 watts so you can use it for future use if you are adding some small hardware to it you can use it so you can calculate the power taken by the computer uh, easily you can go on the cooler master website for the voltage calculator and if when you get a particular figure you should know that this this is more than 20% of your psu uh, continuous voltage as far as thermal takes 750 watt dpsg power supply goes it provides both efficiency curve and the fan curve on their box but i didn't find any efficiency curve on their website so what it makes the picture very clear to it you can easily conclude that the maximum efficiency is at 50% load and the efficiency is way above 90% so ideal load must be above 20% anyhow but if it's uh, more than 40% then you are on the sweetest spots and you are making most of out of your psu and your psu is working uh, in the most efficient cur- curve area so next i will be talking about is the japanese capacitors now these japanese capacitors are more efficient and are Uh, more better 
build quality than your normal Chinese capacitors as these have a better electrolyte and have better sealing say better sealing so they don't leak as like these Chinese capacitors do uh, because of the leaking of the Chinese capacitors uh, it can lead to uh, damage of or your other components and malfunctioning of CPU so you are safe with these Japanese capacitors another important feature of the smart DPSG is the smart zero fan feature and with the help of its PC application you make you can make your fan cut in at 30% load which optimizes thermal load and minimizes the audible noises other specification which I like to talk about is the power good signal the power good signal should be around 100 to 500 milliseconds which is ideal then I would like to talk about the power fraction correction power factor correction uh, this one is mentioned as the active PFC which means it uses a circuit for power correction factor unlike the capacitors and uh, which is better in quality than the passive ones and uh, modularity the fully model PSUs are always good and have better cable management but they cost more and thermal take uh, 750 dpsg power supply have semi modular version which uh, have a 24 pin fixed power connector and all other cables are fully modular the other uh, specification i would like to mention is there is a dual ball bearing so it can operate uh, very easily without any maintenance and also in 20-90% uh, to 90 humidity 